Hey, Thornapple, maybe you're like me and you're counting down the days to the election so we can just stop thinking about it. I totally understand. I am, as the after party says, a bit exhausted with the whole thing. But as Christians, we are called to be people of prayer. Prayer isn't just how we communicate to God. It's also how we align ourselves with God. We align with him as our king, as the one who can actually address the needs of the world, who can actually address our internal needs for security and help and all the things that we sometimes look to politicians to provide for us. Christ is king. And in prayer, he invites us to remember that. And so I want to invite you to a few times of prayer for us as a community that we're offering. The first is November 4th, the night before the election. It's going to be at 7 p.m. here at the church. Come and not, not to pray for your political candidate to win, but to pray for our world, to pray for our country, to pray for our own hearts, that we will remember that regardless of who wins the election, Christ remains King of Kings. And then on election day itself, we're going to be offering prayer uh, every half hour on the half hour from eight until eight. So someone will be here uh, in the sanctuary leading a brief liturgy. So if you're feeling a bit anxious that day, you're feeling like, hey, I need to just remember who is really on the throne. Uh, I invite you to come here and be reminded of that in prayer. Remember, friends, regardless of the outcome of this election, Jesus Christ is our King.